Hey, welcome. It's Brian, and this is Guitar Solo Reactions. And today we're back with Prince, and he is doing the jazz rock masterpiece, Stratus. It's a Billy Cobham song. Came off Billy's first solo record, Spectrum. Uh, cool record. Tommy Bolin was the guitar player on that, if you care. And uh, I have done Stratus uh, with Prince doing it twice before, I believe. Uh, but this one looked really great, so I thought I would give it another visit. And uh, I'd like to also thank you for joining me. And if you're a Prince fan, you're in the right place. And let's check out Stratus. This is from 2010. It looks like, before we get started, it looks like Ida's on bass and uh, John Blackwell is on drums. Um, Cassandra O'Neill is on keyboards, so is Morris Hayes. So, not too familiar with the keyboard players, but anyway. Sounds great, I guess. <laughs> Love the bass line. So quickly, before he goes into a solo, I hope, uh, he is using the whammy pedal set to some kind of harmonization set, probably like a lower like uh, octave or something like that. It sounds like an octaver, and he always does have that boss octaver, but that won't track that well uh, as that's doing there, and probably a little bit of distortion. So killer tone. I can't wait to hear the solo. <laughs> Thank you. 
have it prince 2010 playing the billy cobham piece stratus with an incredible rhythm section of john blackwell and ida nielsen i have to say after doing these uh, uh kind of these more instrumental things the further i get into it and i know uh i think if i were asked i would prefer his rhythm section be uh john blackwell which unfortunately he's passed away as well and uh, Rhonda Smith. They seem to gel really, really well. And Rhonda um, played with two of my favorite guitar players of all time, Prince and Jeff Beck. So um, she just has quite the... And John McLaughlin recently at the Jeff Beck Tribute. She does, uh, I think, three pieces with him. So anyway, I love Rhonda. I've actually seen her a couple of times with Jeff Beck. And so um, anyway, uh, I think she's amazing uh what a cool unique guitar solo i love that he stuck with the harmonizer and kind of pushed the solo a little bit out of it's not out of key but he was just doing some great tension 
and release kind of playing, which he's always really great at. He just always has great tone and all of that. But it was neat that he stuck with that sound the entire piece. Um, I love this song. I think, uh, I want to say I've done this more than twice, but I, I just looked through and I don't think so unless I'm missing something. But I love it. I'd probably look for more just like I did with Purple Rain. Um, also looking for some of those Santana, uh, you know, where he kind of does like a medley. And I know I've done a few of those before, but there's just so much coming out that is live, of course, and has footage. And this one looks like it was called from all sorts of phones. The audio is um, like amazing. And then you're getting all these different uh, kind of angles just from people's camera phones. Um, so, uh, our phone cameras, whatever <laughs> you want to call it. So anyway, Hey, um, let me know if you know, uh, any of these instrumental things. I'm trying to get another list going. I've been watching so many that have come out recently. Uh, I feel like there's gotta be out there. there there's some out there that I'm missing, but, uh, anyway, this is my favorite thing that Prince does is kind of this kind of jazz rock uh where he plays a lot of guitar lets the band uh do solos obviously both keyboard players got solos uh i believe it's cassandra who was the second keyboardist uh amazing solo and ida's was pretty good and of course john blackwell's was unsurpassed by most i mean i think that would make billy cobham proud and billy cobham's a monster he's one of the most incredibly technical and soulful drummers there's ever been. So anyway, hey, I'm Brian. Thank you for watching. See you soon.